Hey guys, do you know how to integrate Git repository with Xcode using terminal? If you don't know, please consider subscribing my channel and watch this video till the end. Hey guys, this is your friend Mayank and without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, let's open Xcode and create a new Xcode project and see, select single view application click next i will give it name i will give it the name as xcode uh, add xcode xcode git all right click next and then you need to uncheck this box because this box enables us to create a local repository using the default features of xcode so here we don't need to here we don't want to create the local repo uh, using the xcode features so please uncheck, uncheck this box and create, click on uh, create and there we have our project and let's do the real thing now. Go to terminal and go to the path of your directory of your project. So I will write cd desktop slash the name of our project is add xcode git. Okay, uh, click enter and there we have, okay <laughs> I wrote. Mm, desktop slash add xcode git so now we are here in our uh, directory our desired directory and here we need to initiate the git okay so write git in it and it will initialize an empty git repository for you in your direct in our desired directory and now we need to create a file called git ignore and now you will wonder that what is this git ignore file all about so uh, let me tell you that uh, here is an article a very productive article by Ainlin Tang and she has provided so much legit information about this and she, uh, here she has already written that yeah to set up your git ignore uh, file without a git ignore file git will track all your local user settings and try to commit them each time you make a change these local settings are not relevant to the project also if you are collaborating with others on the project you don't want to affect their local settings she is absolutely right so that's why we have created this git ignore file and we will write this code inside our file okay so that we can resist any other uh, changes uh, which are non-relevant to our project and to open this git ignore file we will write open dot git ignore open dot git ignore okay and click enter all right it says that command not found all right all right oh i didn't give a space that's why it said this git ignore okay so here we have our getting no file and we will write the code inside it we will save this file and we will close this file okay so now we need to create a local git repo okay so for that we need to create a new branch called master and to create this branch we need to write git checkout dash p master okay i will write this click enter and switch to a new branch called master and now we need to make all these changes that we have just we have done just now that is to create a new file called git ignore in our xcode direct in, in, in our xcode project directory so she has also written that make some changes to your project adding the git ignore file should be enough to count as a change okay if you don't make any changes there will be an error when you push to a remote when you push to the remote i simply committed the initial project to the master branch okay so we'll also do that and we will write git add space dot and now we will commit the changes that we have made just now like this we will write git commit dash m and with a message called initial project setup so now you can see that it has created a local repository for us and we have also committed the same the changes we have made with the message that is initial project setup now half of the task has been done now we need to switch we need to sync this local repository with our remote repository and for that you need to have a bitbucket account or a github account now here i have a github account so i will log into that and i have already logged in and if you don't have a github account 
please don't worry create a new account it's really very simple and go to the new repository here and there you need to write the name of the repository i'll name it add xcode git all right you can select the option that is public or private public is for anyone can see the repository you choose who can commit and private for you choose who can see and commit to the repository earlier the private one was a paid version and now there is big news that github announces unlimited private free private repos the only restriction being a limit of three collaborators per repository but this is really a very good news okay so let's switch back to our work and i'll select private so let's create this repository now after creating this here we have the https url for our remote repository and here they have already given that if we need to push an existing repository from the command line and the same case is uh, here in our you know case so we will write git remote add origin okay we will switch to this so i'll write this and click on enter okay and now i will push all the changes that we have made in our local repository to our remote repository for that we need to write git push dash u origin master okay and i'll click on enter and it is doing this for us it is pushing all the changes that we have made till now in our project to our remote repository and there you can see okay okay here you can see that it has done with all the changes okay now you need to refresh this page and you will see the change okay now you can see that our export project has been linked with our github remote repo okay and the message that we gave initial project setup when we did the first commit you remember so here it is and you have all the required changes that you have to make in our you know in your project uh big thanks to Eileen Tang for providing this really productive article to us and if you have any doubt please write your doubt in the comment sections down below and i will reply your i will reply to your comment really quick so guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future and please don't forget to click on the notification bell down below so that whenever i upload a new video you get notified okay so see you in the next one bye bye jai hind